Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape blog. First things first, I want to talk about the next guide. Um, apologies, it was supposed to be out today, but I went to record it, um, actually just about an hour ago, and um, pretty much what happened, I went in, and I was doing pretty good. You know, I had a, I had the whole pre-guide, sort of uh, the setups and the requirements and everything recorded, everything was good, and um, then I went in, and it was really hard for me to commentate, uh, like, everything to do on each phase and kill it at the same time. It was sort of difficult, so I'm going to have to change the way I do it a little bit. I think I'm going to record the next kill and then, like, post-commentate it and slow it down a little bit in the post-commentary so I can explain everything that might need to be done during each phase and explain it in more detail and, and tell you guys everything that really needs to be done. So... Yeah, uh, sorry it wasn't out today, um, but it'll definitely be out this weekend, and um, I will uh, I'll definitely get it out as soon as I can. But I want to make it really good and really useful for anybody that might want to try soloing next. So yeah, apologies it's not out yet, but yeah, quick uh, few updates for me in game. I got 90 agility and 90 thieving uh, yesterday and today respectively, which is very nice two more 90 plus skills and now only two more to go I just started doing hunter so I'm only I'm still uh, 490 K off of that but I hope to get that tomorrow night which will be awesome and then I can get 90 construction um, uh, probably I could probably get it tomorrow night as well if I get hunter but uh, I can get it also maybe just on Saturday and then I'll be 90 plus all skills finally I've been working on that for a while now and it'll be pretty awesome to get it uh, completed and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sweet. So, yeah, I uh, will be. You know, I'm also two four zero seven total. So, that's a is slowly creeping up as well, which is nice. And uh, I hear a disturbance from Bolero. What does that mean? Oh, I think that has something to do with that mini game that everyone tells me to do, but I just can't be asked. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, once I get ninety hunter, I'll be able to move on to. Uh, different types of butterflies. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's like the arctic glacial things and that's nice and uh, I'm also, I think I'm gonna start doing barbarian outpost uh, agility course and just using summer pies but I'm not sure. I mean I'd like to just switch the, switch up the training a little bit but I know it'll probably be uh, slower experience rates. I'm not sure which part of the course you can fail but I know you can fail some part of it and um, I think that might slow down my experience uh, compared to doing just the gnome course because I can't fail that anymore so uh, we'll see, we'll see what I do, I'm not really sure yet but uh, don't have to do agility again for a while because once I get 90 plus all skills I can pick up uh, two more skills and I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do two skills in between each of the shitty ones so I'm gonna do like once I get 90 construction I think I'm going to do um, either smithing, probably smithing, and then I'll do agility, and then I'll do thieving and crafting, and then I'll do hunter again, and then I'll do like construction smithing again, and I'll have two skills in between. And then uh, at, at 93, I'll pick up mining as well, so I'm going to start picking up a lot of skills uh, in the near future, because then 94, I get fire making and fletching along with it, and then 95, you know, I get slayer. Is that all the skills, I think? Yeah. Looks like that's all of them. So, you know, it's not that far off. Uh, we'll be getting 90, uh, 99 all skills, max cape, pretty, pretty soon. So, I'm very excited. But, yeah, now I want to talk about the update for this week, which was pretty small. And it was just the update to the charm sprites that they said they were going to be doing. They reduced the number of charm slices it requires to get a, um, a real charm. Uh, they, they they actually cut it in half, so now it's only five. So um, I don't know. I, d I didn't really I didn't really like the way they introduced this. It was sort of a weird way for uh, like people to get charms, and it was never really good. And it doesn't sound like it'd still be good. I mean, five slices to get one charm still seems like a lot because I did that the first day or the f like a day or two after it came out, and it was really slow to catch those things so I don't know it's it's a pretty annoying uh, method of hunting and I really don't like it um, I, I really prefer this butterfly thing because a lot of people have been saying oh do jadinkos it's faster blah 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 
Um, I really prefer butterflies because it's just one click and then you gotta wait until your guy catches it. Like you don't have to be constantly paying all, uh, hardcore attention like checking all your box traps and then setting them up and right clicking and doing all this business. So I just think butterflies are a lot easier and a lot um a lot like they're more AF cable even though they're not really AF cable but they're more AF cable than you know other uh other types of hunting so I prefer them over anything else. So yeah, that's what I say to all the Jadinko people out there. But um yeah, I I don't really think it's going to be a uh, a viable method for you know training if you're just going for experience but it could be good if you're trying to get maybe some hundred char uh I mean summoning charms on the side but other than that I'm not really sure um I mean I'll see I'll see if, if it's good experience I might do it to actually it said I mean I think I need my hands free to catch these right let me try yeah so um pretty much it said that if you catch a thousand charm sprites then your yak twee stick thing will get upgraded and it'll help you catch better charm sprites and it'll also give you a five percent experience bonus to any hunter activity that you can do while you have it in your hands so i can't do this with that in my hands so that would be useless for me to get as well so i, I was thinking i might do it just to get that but yeah it looks like uh, that would still be useless so I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Blah, 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 sorry, I just sort of completely failed <laughs> saying that. But I think it's pretty cool that they're trying to revive some of the dead content. But I think it's still not going to be very used um, like they hoped it would be. So I don't know. It's kind of a shame, but I'm not really that bothered about it because they were probably working pretty hard this week about uh, getting their alpha for the inventory system released, which I made a video on that if you guys want to check it out. It's a uh, it's really good uh, changes I think that they're making, so I'm pretty excited for it, and uh, I hope you guys are as well. Uh, for those of you who didn't get in, you know, you can base your opinions off the videos and, you know, what do you think about it, but um, I mean, there's not really anything else to talk about because that was a pretty lame update this week uh, for the main game, but you know, it was pretty good um, that they tried to uh, update the old content, I guess, as they've, they've, they've been doing that kind of a lot uh, since a lot of things are dead. Uh, one thing they changed, they um, they added those mini minuscule experience things, like when adding things to potions and um, stuff like that, like making unfinished potions and picking flax. So I'm going to check really, um, really quick. Let's see. Oh, my God, look at the porn. Everybody pointed out in the comments because nobody else sees it. And everyone needs. Ooh, what's today? I don't know who that is. What was I gonna do? I completely forgot. Wow. So the oh, let's see how much flax. Well, well, I can't just type in flax. R S. Flax. Let's see if it tells you how much experience. Oh, it only gives you one farming experience when you pick flax, but still, I mean. I don't know, that's probably not faster than training ever during farming, like even if you're at level 1. But I mean, it's good that they added those things, because there's a lot of stuff in the game that you should have gotten experience from that you didn't really, but there was a big list of them, and I don't really feel like going over them all, but it, it includes picking flax and making um, unfinished potions, so... Is this the big chompa lady? Ooh, I think if this is her, then I might try and do it okay oh well fine I can't have my bear with me fuck you bitch okay oh we can do this right now holy shit I don't know how to do this though ah! you need this moth jar what do I do what am I supposed to do that helps you see cocoons hanging on what the fuck is that Jesus Christ. Hang on branches around the cave when a moth encloses its struggle free. It'll struggle free from its cocoon and the whole branch will shake. Look out for shaking branch. Maybe I'll grab the newly formed moth while it's vulnerable if you're a skilled hunter. You can catch some of the moths that are flying flee around. You won't need a net, just one of my moth jars. The moths are attracted to the nectar of the flowers that grow here. If you pick a flower and equip, you might catch more moths without having to do anything. It's more likely to happen if you're standing near other people while the flowers equipped. You've got your moth jar, so off you go. Okay. Um. 
Which ones do I catch? Jesus, you got a time limit and shit? Nailed it. Hold on, let me look this up quick. Big Chinchampa. I looked this up before and it tells you I think the best ones to catch. So the best ones to catch are blacks. Oh, I can't. Those are level 91. Gray. The one I just caught for me is the best one to catch. The Gray Soporith. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Can I just catch everything? I don't know. I don't really know. Woohoo, caught it. But how do I do? What do I do with them when I'm done with them? The monster jar holds up the fizzy moths need to release and chop his nest. Okay. Sounds good. Um, points zero. Wow. Okay. Green. Check, check that shit. Catch it. God damn it. It got away. <laughs> um, I know my camera's really off for this because that's what I normally do for my RuneScape vlogs. I never have the camera really on the screen just so I can make it smaller so it renders quicker. So sorry if you're trying to like watch me play this mini game, but I'm kind of, I've never played it before, so I have really no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I got a gray one. Um, let me look how much experience I'm getting here. Am I getting any experience? How do I release them into the thing? Huh? Oh, empty. There. Wow, 2k experience. Loot. Get the gray one. Don't be that guy. Okay, I thought that guy was going to steal it. Check it. So this guy's doing it too. Hmm. This is weird. It's a weird mini game, <laughs> but it's supposed to be good hunter experience. So hopefully, I guess it just gives you the experience when you put it into the things. Uh, well, I'm gonna go into resizable here, make this easier. Uh, I think it only gives you experience when you put them into the things hole. So now you guys probably really can't see anything that's going on. So <laughs> again, I'm sorry, but I want to be able to uh, take advantage of this shit while I can. I might do this more if it's good experience, and it's supposed to be. Oh, another guy's here. I wonder how long this lasts for. How much time do we got? I can't see it. 11 minutes left? Wow. Oh, that's kind of a lot of time. Boy, I'm catching mad moths, bro. Okay, anyways. um, What was I saying? I was talking about those updates. They added the small experience updates, which I think is pretty good that they finally added that. They said they were going to add it a while ago. I think it was in the behind the scenes for this month. So it was a pretty nice addition and um, definitely should have been added because of uh, all those things that didn't have experience that should have. So yay, good job Jagex, I guess. So um, other than that though, I think um, hopefully next week's update will be better and as well the behind the scenes are going to be coming out soon. So I'll definitely make another RuneScape vlog about those. And uh, you guys can look forward to the next guide tomorrow for, sh well, not for sure tomorrow, but for sure either tomorrow or Saturday. Um, I'll get it out as soon as I can. So apologies again for not getting it out today. It was just a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. So I wasn't able to get it out because I was it was just hard to talk and do it at the same time. So yeah. Um, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to future videos. Do my French Titan Game Bibs 7 if you want to talk to me. I'll usually be in there when I'm online. And check a link in the description to uh, see my Minecraft channel if you guys want to watch me play Minecraft. I upload on there pretty frequently. And um, I don't know. I enjoy watching my own videos on there because I recorded them a while ago. So I don't really remember what happened. And they're pretty funny in my opinion. So yeah, you guys can check them out if you want. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And um, leave a comment down below what you thought of this week's update, although it was pretty insignificant. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and peace.